it's a nice reminder to have patience and understanding and compassion for companies and also each other. Yeah, hundred percent. Be kind. Like, yeah, things aren't what you want them to be. Also, the whole world's falling apart. So you might be stressed, but so is the other person. So just be kind. It doesn't mean that you have to change your questions or anything like that. Just do it in a kind way. You know, like, hey, just checking in. How is everything going? That is the same way as trying to find the answer and being like, you need to tell me the answer. Because when you do that from that panic and that fear, all you do is you spread panic and fear. But if you do it from kindness, you spread kindness. Back in the, the when the pandemic hit, there was a, a secondary pandemic that hit as well, which was called the kindness pandemic. And it was on Facebook, had millions of people. It was an incredible thing because every day it was just random acts of kindness, people just sharing about, and it was helping because the world was falling apart in the news media, everything was just like just bombarding us with fear and terror. And then you just go to this little tiny website and it was on Facebook, which is a little website group thing. And then you just click it and you just see streaming, just all of this love and kindness in the world. And I honestly believe that's one of the only reasons that we made it through 2020 the way that we did, because the amount of kindness that was bubbling into the world and the amount of prayer for goodness was counteracting the amount of fear. And we found a little bit of stability and we were able to move through. But if you guys remember these last few years, they haven't been a walk in the park. They've been some of the hardest years of our lives. In fact, many of us are, are very upset still and are holding lots of trauma and wounds because of those years. The only way to get through that is to come back into kindness and to come into that self-regulation and let your central nervous system relax, let your body heal and move forward and breathe again. The way you don't get through that is getting angry and upset. All that's ever gonna do is throw your system out and make you not translate properly. So instead, get into frustration if you need to, write letters you're never gonna send, do the light of God work, acknowledge your emotions, acknowledge your feelings, and then let them go. Get back into your center. That's this next eight months. That's all it is. Just getting us back into our center so that we can build like we've never built before next year. 